Welcome back guys to another race and it's round eight today for this Spanish Grand Prix last time out We managed to double our points for this season at the Monaco Grand Prix and trust me without the season's been going That is a massive flex that we've been able to do to get from two to four points Okay, that's a big win people that's a big win and we're three points away now from Williams uh, You know still a few more to Haas then but uh, you know we're going in the right direction direction but the races are coming thick and fast spain is in four days so i don't really know if anything's gonna if anything new is gonna come to the car we've also got an inspection failed for the front wing so we just need to replace that swap that out so uh, we've only got three front wings now in total in terms of what we're researching researching a new front wing and rear wing 13 days 18 days so that's going to take time we're manufacturing a lot of spares these are all they're not new parts these are all spare parts so the car is very similar to last race and you know obviously with the way the calendar is the races are going to come thick and fast so we may not be seeing as many upgrades in between races as we're now into the proper european portion of the season um so it's just trying to execute better races and hopefully hoping for some chaos maybe to help us out as well right so we've got some sponsorship obligations then going into the spanish grand prix we had this at baku i think it was with a race hospitality event so um if we approve it we get race hospitality event obligations scheduled um and it and and we'll have to maybe you know there'll, there'll be some extra things to do i think we're gonna go for approve let's see what what what, what, we, what we're about into the spanish grand prix board confidence check-in still medium confidence still medium that's not low and that's not poor it's just medium right performance targets what we got going on so reach q2 um, which is concerning because last race the, the target was reach Q3. So they, do they not think we can do that? Um, I'm going to set the qualifying position to P14, both drivers. Let's not do Q3 then in case, you know, they're, they're, they're not very confident in us. Uh, race target, fastest lap. Don't think we're going to get that, but we'll see. Uh, finish streak position was 0 of 5, unfortunately. So we reset and go again. And the confidence is very, very high going to this race weekend. 94 driver prep for Oscar and for Lando. That's awesome. Really good to see. Feeling good about it. Despite the Q2 target and not the Q3 target, I'm feeling good. Maybe the car will be worse around here because it is, you know, very different circuit to Monaco. A bit more about the actual aero and the downforce. And we know we're still struggling in that department. But 91 set up for Lando. 89 both in the 90s for driver prep overall you know let's let's get some positivity here right sending them out early sending lando out early because sending them early in monaco worked out really well for us i was afraid to really send them out early ever um before because of what happened in the last game f uh, f1 manager 22 always the track grip was not high and it was always about doing it last minute but it seems on this yeah. game it's really kind of the opposite the track yeah, grip's there the whole time like you can see the which i find odd to be yeah. fair i feel like it should maybe evolve a bit but the track grip's there from the start so we may as well send them out and just get that clean air run uh, gonna do one flying lap today just to see how it goes in q1 maybe try it out in q2 i don't know or uh, if the first lap's not great here we'll do a two lap run the next run the next run let's say but this first run just the one lap bang it in clean air no traffic whatsoever for both drivers um which is very okay i, I lied okay not uh, lando had to overtake leclerc there but that seemed pretty quick actually i think he let us buy in a good good spot this piastri we're uh, focusing on right now lando going through the last sector and through that final new corner here at spain new old corner i should say at spain flying through and obviously it was a very good qualifying for lando in real life in spain not so much in the race let's forget about that but let's try and rectify that here in the game 114.9 is the marker lando puts down and let's see what piastri will do i'm hoping somewhat close to him uh it's oh two tenths off okay that's not bad we had a disaster in monaco where he was like one point something off so that's not bad but oh my god merc nine tenths quicker is that just is that piastri just being closer to lando or both of them just being equally slow i don't know Right, times are coming in. Let's see what they're going to do as we reconfigure a uh, new set of soft tyres. Uh, you know what? I might send them out on the old set, to be fair, and just do another run. 
because I don't really... If we're aiming for Q2 only, actually, maybe we can afford to do a new set. Uh, run plan. Let's do two flying laps. Let's include a cool down just to cool the tyres. Uh, because I think the softs might overheat around here. And someone said in the comments, to be fair, the softs around Monaco probably would have overheated. So let's include the cool down lap. And, um, and then get going. I think there's some space here. So send that Piastri then... And then let's send Lando out now. I think a lot of these guys are going to come in. Yeah, okay. So there's some good space there for Lando. I think Oscar's unfortunately got Alonso right ahead of him. Uh, I think he's on a flyer as well, though. I don't know. Actually, he might be on an in-lap, to be fair. So he might just be coming in uh, right now. Not too many time sets. So we don't really know where we are. Uh, we're quite close to Alonso, though, which is quite promising, actually, because we know the Aston is quicker than us, so to only be, what, what's that, like, three tenths Drops slower is not bad down. right now. Let's see what they can do on this run Let's of go. two flyers with a cooldown lap included. So Oscar's starting his flying lap now, I think that is. Okay, Oscar has, I don't think he really improved. It was a green first sector, two yellows, so I don't know if there was much improvement, and Lando has caught... A bit of traffic here on the circuit. Right now, P11.13. It's not looking too great, you know. Spain might be a track we're just not great at. As Lando does not go any quicker. Two yellows, one green. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. We are quicker than Ocon. That's at least something, maybe. But uh, Perez is going to set a lap. To be fair, that might actually still be enough to get us through into Q2. Okay, right now... We're in Q2 right now, just about. Sergeant in the Williams could knock us out with, uh, with, uh, with, with, a, with a better time. I'm going to send Oscar out again for another lap because I think he needs to find a bit more time. I feel like Lando is safe with three tenths of the drop. So I think it's just all about Oscar improving. It's a yellow first sector for him, which is really not what you want to see. Two yellows. What is going on here? No improvements here. Oh boy, this needs to be a great last sector like he did in Monaco to get him up and safe as we've got across the last... Oh, it's not an improvement. It's not an improvement at all. Hopefully Sargent doesn't improve either. That's really... It's just odd, you know? It's just odd. I find it odd sometimes in quality. They don't really improve on another lap. You'd feel like they feel more confident, get bedded in, but sometimes just not. Let's hope Sargent does not find time. He's found some traffic, actually. So to the line... And it is P16. So I think we're both through into Q2, thankfully. But it's going to be a struggle, I think, looking at that to get into Q3, actually. The Haas, Haas team are looking very quick. Aston a bit better, a bit more on it than they were in Monaco. So yeah, I think the target of Q2 only is maybe quite accurate here, unfortunately. Right, so you can see what we need to find here then. The cutoff position, 10th place, estimated cutoff time, 114.7. So we need to find two tenths. For Lando there and then Oscar needs to find um even more he needs to find like five five tenths to get maybe into Q3 okay right sending Norris and Piastri both out early in the session hopefully they don't pick up anyone on their flying lap I don't think they have it is completely clean smooth running for both Lando and Piastri on the mini map there oh look at that clean air okay come on boys please Please get a look, good lap. What was it? 114.7, isn't it? So that's what we, we, we know the actual time estimated cutoff for P10 is. So let's see what it's going to be as we go through the final bend with Lando. 111, 12, 13, 14. No. Okay, 14.9 again for him. So we need to find two tenths still with Lando. With Oscar, is it a better time? No. Oh, my God. 1.1 off. Jesus. Jesus. Right, I'm going to send Oscar out now. There's a bit of clean space I can see. Wait a little bit. And then I think Lando, if we set... Is Magnussen coming in? Yeah, okay. Send Lando out now. And then we'll have some clean air there. I think we've... Oh, Piastri's picked up Ocon, though. That's unfortunate on the outlap. Ocon is on a flyer as well himself. So he's ahead of us. That's okay. He's not going to get held up by that, is he? Oh, no. Okay, Ocon gets out of the way. That's fine. That's fine. That was hardly being held up. Hardly being held up. I want to see a green first sector, Oscar. Give me a green first. Yes! Ask and we shall receive. Green first sector. Good. Lando, you as well. I mean, you're still in the outlap, so we'll get to you. But Piastri, going well. Green second sector, please. As Lando is going to start his flying lap now. Oscar getting through the middle section. 
Oh, we've got some more traffic. Maybe the Ferrari gets out the way. DRS, maybe a little bit of slipstream there for him. As we go green, second sector. Come on, give me the green last sector. Big improvement here. We need to improve by 1.3 seconds to get into Q3. Something tells me he's not going to find 1.3 seconds, but a man can dream across the lot. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, right, okay. Oh, we're back to McPain, are we? Is it Lando Green, first sector? He could legitimately maybe get into Q3. This is the difference, I guess, between a, what is it, like an 87-rated driver and a 78-rated driver. Um, is about, you know, a couple of uh, uh, a couple of tenths, you know, one to one second. It's yellow second sector, cross the line. What is it going to be? It is a dud. It is no improvement for him either. How about that? No improvements. We haven't improved on a single lap since our first one in every session. Right, I've sent Lando out. Very, very late, but we'll see if he can make it, make it to the line. Piastri definitely can. So this is three laps then in Q2 to try and get through into Q3. Piastri meets Stroll a little Let's bit with traffic. Uh, both are on their flying laps. They've made out on time, end of the session, but at the moment, it's not looking great. It's looking a bit ropey, P14 and 15. Piastri, middle sector improvement, and he's still 2.3 off. Absolutely wonderful stuff here. Wonderful, loving life, one sector. Green, second sector yellow, traffic as well. Love to see it. The red ball gets in the way, and it's not going to be improvement, I bet. Yep, no improvement. Love that. Oh, no, there was a slight improvement. I lied. There was a tenth improvement, if that. Maybe half a tenth improvement for Lando, but it's P14 and 15. Uh, that is it. That is it. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I am F1 gods. Please give us a bit of rain or a safety car or, or red flag. Something to let us jump some people in this race, please. Oh, there's no rain. There's no rain. No rain to forecast, unfortunately. So it is a dry race. Two-stopper, though. Nailed on two-stopper, apparently. So is there half a chance to do a one-stop to, like, get the wool over someone? Um, you know, if we did with Lando, you know, he's he's been pretty good at them. Is there a way to maybe do, let's say, like a medium and then add a hard stint and go really long. Is that possible? No. Wow, the tire wear is so bad. Okay, it is a two-stop indeed then. It is a two-stop indeed. Right. Uh, in that case, we may as well negate the hard tire maybe and go just all balls-to-the-wall quick tires because I feel like the hards may not be great. Actually, to be fair, we, we might benefit from being on hards, to be honest. We might go better on hards than other people because we can push harder. Generally, Lando's won really well on hard tyres. So let's do soft to hard to soft again, maybe. I don't think we have enough soft tyres, though. So I think it might have to be medium. Um, so soft tyre. Let's pit early for hards. Let's go. Let's increase the pace target and go really early on hards. Like lap. Yeah, lap 15. That's when it's really wearing out. And then go earlier on the mediums just to give us a little bit of breathing room. Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that for Lando. And then for Oscar, um, we'll go... I think that, well, I think we should just try and do the same, to be honest, really. I think we should just put them in tandem. So, pace up. Let's go lap 7. Oh, he's going to pit earlier, actually. Lap 14. And then have that be a little bit of a longer stint. Right, let's try that. Okay, soft, hard, medium. Using all three compounds... Obviously, to be fair, in real life, they were using a lot of different compounds as well, weren't they? This time, unlike in Monaco, not going to underfuel them because we don't have track position and the defense won't be as easy as it was in Monaco. Definitely not. The stage is set here in Barcelona as we get ready for 66 laps of the Spanish Grand Prix. This race should be a good chance to see what Valtteri Bottas can manage. From B17, you know, they could try and be clever here and then who knows what they could manage. So let's see what today has in store, shall we? This is it. It's the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out. And Away we are we on the way. It's a Red Bull 1-2, so that's quite big for them in the championship as we look to see what Piastri and Lando can do there side by side right now. Going into turn one. Can any moves be made? Lando on the inside of the Haas. 
to get up into B13 on the inside of Magnussen. Get the elbow out, mate. Come on. And let's go aggressive also as well, as per usual on the overtake aggression, please. And Lando is going to finish that move off, I hope. No, no, no. The Haas comes back at us. We're still side by side with him. Still side by side. He's still there. Come on, mate. Get him. Get him. Piastri. Let's watch it for on board from Piastri. That's a much better view of what's happening there. Oh, the Haas has the bell acceleration. Lando's putting up a real good fight, though. Come on. Keep going. Keep fighting this. <laughs> oh, that's a funny radio. That's quite realistic as well, I think. Lando getting quite frustrated. But he actually still gets the move done, maybe, here. Magnussen's really, really trying to stay ahead. But we're on the better compound on softs. He's on medium, so we have to get that move done. The Haas is actually so good, though, that even on mediums, he's putting up a real good fight. Right, he's got him. He's got him. Let's go deploy on Piastri. I'm going to go yeah, deploy yeah. Lando, to be fair, as well, just down this straight. Can we make an overtake with Oscar? Come on. Please make this dive. Make the, It worked in Monaco. Make the dive. Make the dive. Make the... No, okay. It didn't work as well as it did in Monaco when we made that amazing overtake. Our DRS is now activated, and it's going to be ropes for us, maybe. Magnussen going for the move. Oh, at the same time, it's also uh, <laughs> Piastri and Bottas as well. No, no, no. Oh, he's defended well. Piastri, no! Oh, Bottas with the big dive bomb. Piastri, come on. Look alive, mate. Keep the visit. No, okay. Right, cool. Okay, we're down. Oh, we're not looking good, are we? We're not looking great. We're not looking great. Tire temps are back in a good region, though, so we can maybe push a bit more again. Oh, VSE. VSE, someone stuffed it. Who stuffed it? Oh, Lando's up to P11. What's happened there? What's happened here? Someone's... Oh, Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg has gone wrong. Lando's up to P11. Piastri P14. Oh, this is a good time to save some fuel here, lads. Save some fuel. Save some tire temp. Save the uh, uh, save the ERS as well. Everything on save. Right, let's watch this. Multiple cars involved, apparently. So this is uh, the Williams of Albon having a go at Hulkenberg. Oh, and it's a big lockup. Big, big impact for Hulkenberg. Sorry, I, I thought he just span it and like was on the grass. But that's a hefty, hefty impact. And the Williams and Haas both ruining this. This is perfect for us. That's two of the rival teams that we're battling. Two of their cars are out. Amazing stuff there. So P11 and P14 now for Piastri. Right, virtual safety guard is ending. So now we can push, push, push. We've got a lot of fuel saved up. A lot of fuel, which is good. Going to go and deploy. Right, so this is the sit rep of where our drivers are then. So Lando's there, P11. Still got Magnussen for very good company. Piastri chasing after Bottas, but we just shifted up higher. Russell's locked up into turn one, which won't help his cause. But he splits the two Ferraris actually right now. So Ferrari also not looking too hot. You know, last race is race winner, Leclerc, P6. And it's domination for Red Bull. 1-2 as they just slipstream each other. So it's a very, you know, very, very different story to what we had uh, in the Monaco GP. And right now, in terms of the tyre, we are actually maybe ahead of schedule there now with the virtual safety car. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment here. I'm just going to keep them on attack. I know it's going to overheat the tyres, allegedly, but let's see how the pace is because we're going to have to pit. We're going to get this curve back to here. So let's may as well just kind of go balls to the wall for a little bit. And Piastri overtakes Bottas with that strategy. DRS overtake. Good stuff. But he, he caught up to him because he was actually a bit behind Bottas. Good move on the outside. On another fellow soft tire runner, to be fair. But um, still, I think that maybe shows that we're definitely on a different strategy pitting so early. Right, going to pit Piastri now for hards on lap 14. And then going to come in after that with Lando on the next following lap. So Lando's round already. Hit for hards. Go, go, go. Right. Um, I want this on out of the pits. Let's go aggressive out of the pits, basically. So don't have to faff around with that uh, thing being stuck there. Right. Piastri's in. Hopefully a good pit stop. Let's see. Come on. Good stop. 2.5. Not bad. Not bad. That's all right. Could be better, but not bad. Not bad. Right. Now we're just going to chill, basically. We're going to try and look out after the tire temps for both drivers. Get them up to a good range. And then... You know, because the hards need some work work in terms of temperature to actually fire up properly as 
Lando overtakes Joe, who's yet to pit, I don't, I don't think. So uh, that's at least promising that we are going quicker then, actually, than other people still going on in this race. Um, but yeah, it's just now what we did at Imola, basically, trying to really pin perfect, you know, manage this in terms of temperatures. Once they get to like 119, probably cool them down a little bit. And Lando now gets to freeze, which is good. Some battling going on ahead of us. So we are catching and we are making this undercut work right now in terms of, you know, we're catching people who are still on their mediums. Gasly's in the pits and he's come out behind us. I think he was uh, ahead of us beforehand. So that's good. And Lando overtakes Sergeant as well. On track this is. Okay, so far this undercut, I'm liking it. I'm liking this undercut. Very much so. Good work from Lando. Get Sergeant. Got Gasly. Just need to make sure we get this stint right in terms of these temps to get to, well, what was it? Like lap 40 something. Yeah, four. So we've got a long way to go still. So what tires Gasly on? Gasly's pit onto another set of softs. So he's going for a very aggressive two-stop here. As uh, Piastri gets closer. Joe, I'm just showing you all these overtakes. The we, this is maybe the most overtakes we've had the entire season in one race. So, really rude not to show them all as uh, Piastri makes a good one to the inside in Sector 3. So, right now, Norris P11, Piastri P14. Uh, you can see that there's a big gulf there, unfortunately, for Oscar. But that's really just the rating. But um, I think sooner or later, maybe Lando might be chased down by Gasly on these softs. I'm going to tell him to defend. I'm going to tell him to defend very hard as but Hamilton locks happened. up into turn one, now, which won't help Hamilton. his cause in his battle. He's point. ahead of Perez right now. Probably feeling the pressure maybe from the Red Bull. Ooh, a lot of time lost there. Oh, he's in the gravel even. So probably positions lost for Hamilton there. Where is he? Is he back on circuit? He is, but he's, he's lost. He's now lost out to his, uh, to his own teammate as uh, Lando looking to defend. Let's go with some uh, ERS battle assist to help do. us out. But I think maybe the Alpine might get through. His confidence through the roof, though. Peak. Peak confidence that was earlier. It's now gone down a little bit, but it was peak confidence. Piastri gets past to Freeze. This is good. Good. Another dive to the inside with DRS. Oh, lovely, Oscar. He's loving that, 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 that corner for overtakes. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. We are we're, we're starting to cook a little bit. Oh, yellows. Oh, Hamilton's had another off, has he? I think he has Stroll span at turn one, but Hamilton, we've, we've overtaken Hamilton. Stroll span at turn one. What's happened afterwards? Something happened with Hamilton. Did Stroll come back on circuit and hold Hamilton up? It cut off there. I think he did, though. I think he must have. Is there going to be a replay of that? Because something's happened to Hamilton, and he's now Lando's ahead of him. Very, very cool. As Magnussen's in the pits... And he comes out just ahead of us. So we've not jumped Magnuson, unfortunately, with this undercut. Haas is actually just too quick for us. All right, Hamilton's back past Lando, as you would probably guess would have happened, to be honest. So uh, we're just going to chill out and just keep going like this. Just keep going like this. Just need one more slip up from someone. And Magnuson span! Magnuson span on turn seven! Yes! Yes! Oh, good stuff for us. In the <laughs> I'm liking these new team radios. They're actually um they're quite comical okay, when you hear them. Right, so the that time. means where's Piastri then? Where yeah. where is he in all that? How are we not overtaking it? What's happened? Were we that far away from K Mag that we didn't even overtake him? Bloody hell. Yellows. Oh, multiple cars have crashed. Multiple cars have crashed. What's happened? What's uh, who's crashed? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's Sergeant. Sergeant has uh, crashed with... Uh, I don't actually know who who has crashed here, but there's yellows. Perez. Oh, lapping. Perez lapping. So <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. They've crashed when he was lapping him. And Perez now has a puncher, I think that is. I think that's a puncher. Amazing. That's the first time I've seen that. I didn't know they could do that. You get a puncher. Uh, with a bit of da contact damage there. So Perez in the mud now. Oh, look at him. Oh, big, big mess up here. Let's go aggressive. Let's go aggressive. Let's push. Because Perez will hold people up here. Perez will definitely hold people up. Surely. Surely he's going to... Oh, they're, they're catching. They're catching. He's going to hold people up here. Perez, keep going slowly, mate. Keep going slow. Actually, take a vacation, bro. Taking a vacation. Go on. No, 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 no. That wasn't... In, you, yeah, you didn't hold them up there. You see, you, you, you should have stayed ahead of him, but you, you, you didn't. 
that Perez in the mud, that could get Lando to P10. This could get Lando P10 here in this race. This suspension issue for Sergio Perez. Lando's coming through the same complex now. Perez is in. Oh, he's coming out. Ah, oh, he's coming out ahead of Lando. Bloody hell. He's made that whole pit stop and we've still not gained there. That's frustrating. Oh, Piastri's done a number on his Look at Lando's tire right there. Perfect. Really good. Piastri, I've literally matched them. Look at the tire going on here for uh, Piastri. Really coming in under what he needs to do. Almost need to go light to try and protect this tire more. He's just not very good at protecting tires compared to Lando. Like, he's inch perfect. Look at that. That is perfect. Right, pitting Oscar now. Pit, pit window's open. I'm going to have to pull him in. I'm going to have to pull him in. He's just going to come in just before he gets overtaken by Sargent. That's the man he's racing. Um, and Lando's up into P9 now. We're still ahead of Gasly, which is great. Which is really great. Oh, yeah. Oh, Leclerc's off. Leclerc's off. Leclerc's off. Oh, what's happened? No, that's Sainz. Sorry. Sainz is off. Sainz off circuit. What's oh, happened there? There's been a crash. Has he crashed with his teammates? Or it's a, oh, it's the Red Bull. Verstappen on the inside. Sainz squeezes him. Verstappen's got damage, surely. And Sainz is slow. I think Verstappen's got front wing damage, though. Hang on. Hang on. I think that's his front wing. Yeah, there's no end plate there. He's going to have to pit. Sainz has got a penalty, I think, coming up. Leclerc, it's all coming up. Leclerc, Perez is had a mare. He's had that puncher. Sainz and Verstappen have crashed. And all of a sudden, Leclerc could actually be going on to leading this race. And somehow, in all of this craziness, we've still not gained many positions. As we gain on Sonoda, who's yet to pit. But we need something more to get us into the top 10. Lando gaining, gaining, gaining. Make the overtake, mate. Yes. Good dive. Good dive on Sonoda. Right, Verstappen's continued on with his front wing damage. He's continued. Sainz has pit, served his penalty. He's P7. Leclerc, seven seconds behind on the hard tyre. Verstappen on mediums, but he's definitely got visual front wing damage. Don't know if it's actual front wing damage. Don't know. Um, and we could actually somehow get into the top 10 because I think Gasly has to pit still. Or no. Wait, Gasly's pit and he's come ahead of us. Huh? Where's he? Where? Lando's there. Where? Gasly's there. No, he's not pit yet. Surely he's not pit yet. He's completely out of sync of our race. Surely, surely. Science fastest lap. So Ferrari going well. He's back up to P4. He's overtaking Perez, actually, in fact, on the softs. Leclerc, 3.7 behind Verstappen. He is gaining on the Red Bull, limping with damage. Meanwhile, we are still P11, 26 seconds away from Stroll. Doesn't matter if Alpine, whatever has happened with Alpine. I thought we were ahead of Gassi, legit, but we're not. Uh, and they've got a whole pit stop on us. So P11 is the max we can hope for in this race with Norris and uh, Piastri. Yeah, 11 uh, further back. Just can't. Six seconds on Sonoda. Not going to catch Magnussen. It's tough. It's tough out here. Yellow. Oh, yellow. For what? Yellow for what? Oh, Hamilton. Hamilton's locked up. Again. Fighting Alonso this is this time. Big lock up, is it? Into the gravel. Into the gravel again. Literally the same animation as, as earlier. And he's still not going to gain much. Oh, Lando. We're just not anywhere near, are we? Hamilton has a pit stop issue. He comes in. He's P10 now. Merck are the next car to us. That's not going to help us out, though. Three laps to go. And Leclerc is 1.9 behind Verstappen. Despite the damage. Russell span, apparently. Won't it matter to us at all, but it matters in this fight with oh, Merck no, and Aston, etc. And the Mercs are really having a really tough day, aren't they? Really, really tough day. But I'm really interested in this Leclerc-Verstappen battle. Surely Verstappen. Is he going to pull this off with that amount of damage still? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Second last lap. And Leclerc is just about a second inside Verstappen's lapped Hamilton, by the way. That's incredible. Mental, mental pace from Verstappen here and from Leclerc. Leclerc's fallen out of DRS, unfortunately, onto the last half of the Grand Prix. Here he goes. Leclerc, he's gained. He's gained. Can he make the dive bomb to the inside? Oh, no, no, no. Not quite. Verstappen is going to hold on to it. In the middle sector, he really gained on Max. He's still gaining on Max. He's still gaining Max, damage right there, but he's going to hold him off. 
He's going to hold him off through to the last corner. Leclerc, two tenths behind the race leader. What a finish. What a finish. But Verstappen wins it. Verstappen wins the race. And, um... Well, I don't know. How, I don't know how Hamilton got the check flat. Hamilton got lap, but we didn't. How, how does that work? But anyway, P11, P11, and P14. I mean, Haas and Williams didn't score either, so positives there. But yeah, it's just another another day in the office for McPain.